so in this lecture we are going to discuss about the last activity of a review process that is a follow up process where we will be fixing the defect and we will be providing the report for that so this is the last activity so in our previous lecture we have seen the review meeting where there was a person to whom we have assigned to fix the defects so he will be fixing the defect and providing the report for it so let's see what all things we have to do in a follow up process so there are totally eight activities which you need to perform when you are doing a follow up process so the first thing is you have to create a defect report so in the review meeting all the defects are decided so now you have to create a report for that so that in each in a order you can fix those defects the second thing which you need to do is fixing of these defects so first you will create a report and depending upon the priority you will start fixing those defects once the defect is fixed you have to communicate defect to the person that you have fixed the defect so first you have to create a defect report then depending upon the priority you have to fix the defect and once you fix the defect you have to communicate that to the person after that you have to do a recording updated status of the defect so you have to record the updated status so now you have fixed the defect so you have to go to the next stage by saying that it is fixed then you have to gather the matrix also like how many defects are fixed how many defects you will fix and when they will be fixed how much time they will take so all those matrix you have to gather then you have to check the exit criteria so after fixing all the defects then you have to see that whether now at least you are meeting the exit criteria or not and once that is done then you have to do the accepting the work product so once the exit criteria is met then we can accept that work product and process it for the further processing and with that the review process will end so the first thing you did is you created the report then depending upon the priority you fix the defect then you have communicated that to the person that you have fixed the defect and then you have changed the or you have updated the status then you have to just gather how many defects you have fixed and how many defects are still there to be fixed depending upon that you will check for the exit criteria and if the exit criteria meets then you have to accept the work product and with that your review process will end for that particular product the last thing which we will see here is the defect stages so when you are fixing the defect it will go through different stages so the first stage is the defect will be in open stage so when you are creating a defect report it will be in the open stage next it will go to the analyze stage so when you are fixing it or between creating the defect report and fixing there will be a analyze state after analyze state there will be a fixed or rejected so while fixing if you see that no that particular feature is implemented correctly then you can reject also obviously there will be a discussion and then if you if you feel that you have fixed the defect then you can change it to fixed and then finally you have to close the review process and with that the review process will completely end so that is it from this particular topic and i will see you with my next video until then happy testing